In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate text embeddings by using Amazon's Titan embeddings model. I'll be using Amazon Bedrock API service in order to do that in Boto3. If you're not aware of what exactly Amazon Titan, Titan embedding model is, then it is a text embedding model that converts natural language text, including single words, phrases or even large documents into numerical representations that can be used to power use cases such as search personalization and clustering based on semantic similarity. This Amazon Titan embeddings model is optimized for text retrieval to enable retrieval augmented generation or RAG in um, short. Amazon Titan embeddings enables you to first convert your text data into numerical presentation or vectors, and then use those vectors to accurately search for relevant passages from a vector database. And this allows you to make the most out of your proprietary data in combination with other large language models. So think about this, that for example, you have your organization's data into in the PDF documents or Confluence documents or in Jira or wherever. So first thing you need to do is to create a numerical representation of that data, which will be called as embedding or vector. And then you need to store that vector data into the vector database. You can use any vector database out there. Um, you can even store it in PG vector, or you can store it in Viviate, Pinecon, and there are heaps of other vector databases. And I have a lot of videos around that on my channel. And once you have stored these vectors or embeddings in your vector database, now you can combine these vectors with your prompts and send that query to the large language models. And then the large language models would be able to answer your questions or your users' questions with the added information from your own organization. And if you are not aware of how RAG works or retrieval augmentation generation work, then uh, please search my channel. I have a few videos where I explain these terms in very simple words. Now, coming back to this Titan embeddings model, this supports more than 25 languages, including English, Chinese, and Spanish, and various others. And then you can input up to 8192 tokens, making it well suited to work with single word phrases or entire documents, as I mentioned earlier. Now, let me uh, try it out in this code by using Amazon Bedrock in Boto3. So let me quickly describe this code for you. So what is happening in this code is first I am importing Boto3 and JSON. And before I do that, there are prerequisites, two prerequisites. First, you need to have an updated version of AWS Eli. Second, you need to have an updated, upgraded version of Boto3. So make sure you have it because this has been just released in October, uh, September 2023, on 28th of September to be exact. So make sure you have it. In uh, line number four, I am getting the Boto3 client for Bedrock runtime in the in this region. And then I'm simply asking it that can rise a capital of Australia. I'm dumping it in a JSON. And then I'm giving it this model ID, which is Amazon Titan embedded model. And then I'm invoking this model with this Bedrock service. And it is creating the embedding which I'm printing. So let me run it. And as you can see, I'm running my program. So this is the vector representation or um, semantic similarities or vectors, which you will get out of this text, which is Canberra's capital of Australia. Now you can store it in any vector database. And then um, whenever someone searches something uh, closer to Canberra, then it will find the similar text and return it. And this is how LLM works when it, they are doing the semantic similarities and there are lot, lots to it. But anyway, the purpose of this video was to show you how you can use this code in order to use AWS Bedrock to generate the text embeddings. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any question or feedback, please put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.